Hello, my name is Minira and welcome to a day in the life of a student during Ramadan. I woke up at 4.30 a.m. today, got ready and started preparing suhoor. This was my first and only meal before sunrise so I had to make sure it's nutritious to get me through the day. And then I read some Quran and read some of the supplications of the Prophet peace be upon him. Then I prayed the morning prayer and went to bed. I woke up around 9 a.m. and started getting ready for class. Um, I had a pretty busy day today with three classes. I then packed my bag and almost packed my water bottle. Then I realized I was fasting and yes, not even water. I headed out to class and I'm an RA at Canaries Hall and I was really happy to see that they set up water and dates for fasting students in the dorms. I walked to my first class. I was really excited to be back to school because I have been on co-op for the past six months. After class, I walked to CCI to get some work done, but it was time for the second prayer. So I prayed in the inner faith meditation space on the 11th floor. Then I headed to my second class all the way at Drexel Plaza. For that, I had to go say hi to my co-workers. We had those beautiful Ramadan signs on the tables. Yay, representation. Then I had my last class, which was data mining applications. Um, after class, I went to see my best friend Noor at Lobo to see the new meditation space they just officially launched. It made me really happy and proud because this is just another huge step towards promoting diversity on campus and it's open to students of all faiths. As an RA, we get a meal plan so I headed to Urban to grab a to-go support box for the next day. I picked up a Ramadan voucher at the entrance and then headed to restaurant rotation to grab a pre-packaged suhoor meal. For the morning, I also grab it to go parfait for suhoor um, the next day. Then I headed back to Lobo where we were hosting our first iftar. Then it was finally sunset so we had the adhan which is the call to prayer. We broke our fast with dates and water. So we break our fast with dates first because they are alkaline in nature and it helped in balancing out the acids in the stomach after a full day of fasting. After that, we prayed the fourth prayer in congregation. Um, then we set up the food. And today's menu was biryani, which is a popular Indian and Pakistani dish. Ramadan is also a month where we focus more on feeding people and serving the community. After we ate and cleaned up, my friends and I headed to Kung Fu Tea to just catch up before prayer. Then I walked to Jemek for the last prayer. I prayed the last prayer for the night in congregation and then walked back home. I did some homework and then got ready for bed since I had to wake up at 4.30 a.m. for support the next day.